How is up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's D. Boss reacts to this video by T. Spill. This is about Trisha Paytas revealing the truth about Jeffree Star and exposing him. Okay, I'm not sure what happened exactly, um, but we're gonna see um, how she exposed Jeffree Star. I guess she exposed some information in her podcast or something like that. Um, but yeah, we're about to get all the tea, so let's watch. What's up, guys? Welcome back to yet another weekly respill episode. It's always this something week, with let's Trisha. Talk about a leaked <laughs> voice note going around from Jeffrey Star. Trisha Paytas addressing rumors between her and Jeffrey. Jeffrey copyright striking a smaller channel. And Nikita Dragon shading her ex boyfriend on Twitter. Let's get into it. Oh, I'm not watching this part. We finally have an update to the situation that we talked about last week involving Jeffree Star and his two ex-friends speaking out about him. Ooh, the first update that? is about Cam Lester. As we talked about last week, Cam was good friends with Jeffree and came out with a video on Instagram saying he was scared of Jeffree and no longer supported him. A few days after that, a video came out from a drama channel called Sebastian Williams with a leaked voice note that was sent to Cameron from Jeffree after his video went live. <laughs> most insane thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Um, I know you're upset. Your boyfriend left you. He stopped loving you. Damn. Your roommate moved out. Um, you attacked Venti. They didn't respond. And now people are coming for you for supporting me. So you trying to flip the script, make up a bunch of lies, and make me the devil is so boring. Girl. Beverly, keep go tea. Come back to Earth. Now, I'm just gonna say it, this voice note is absolutely gross, especially to send to someone who you once considered a close friend. It feels like he tried to get into his head and use sensitive subjects like his breakup and his roommate moving out to hurt him. After mm. the voice note got leaked, Cameron took to Twitter to talk about his feelings about what Jeffrey said and why he thinks he said what he said. He was just preaching about Black Lives Matter on his platform, then send this to a black gay beauty boy who just said he was scared for his life because of his manipulation tactics. He sent this voice note to keep painting a narrative that I was lying and doing all of this because I was upset with the things going on in my life. Trying to spin the narrative and plant the seed that everything was Don't false. Don't bring Black Lives Matter into this though because it's convenient. This man is 34 like and I'm 23. He knows how to maneuver and exactly what to say. And Why is he friends with a 23 year old? Star that is has yet to address the situation on any of his social media platforms. The second update we have is regarding the video Jeffree Star's ex friend Tab uploaded. In this video, Tab made many accusations against Jeffree from using slurs to talk about about his two friends, people. Rich Lux and Trisha Paytas. I talked yeah. about these in depth in my video last week so instead of going over everything again i'll leave it linked down below for you guys a lot of people speculated that jeffrey was making fun of trisha once she left his hotel room even though names were never dropped people connected the dots and it honestly couldn't have been anyone else jeffrey seemed to be ignoring the accusations tab made until someone replied to one of his tweets saying have you checked on trisha paytas to see how she's doing after your vegas trip Hmm, we'd love to know, sis. Then there was another interaction between Jeffrey and the person who tweeted him, but those tweets are now deleted. Although one reply from Jeffrey is still up, and he wrote, No, you tried to degrade me with your rude comment. Doesn't sound like checking in on her. Sounds like believing a rumor and then being mean to me by using my friend's name? Not good for anyone's mental health. Surprisingly, Trisha actually quote tweeted Jeffrey and wrote, This is getting annoying. There's so many lies on so many topics about me lately. I can't keep up, nor do I. I want to. I go by people's actions on how they treat me, not by what the internet runs with. People just want reactions. I'm so over it. Trisha also addressed the situation on her podcast. She never named any names, but she talks about how someone reached out to her and told her that her friends were talking behind her back. She goes into detail about how it made her feel, and I'm guessing she's talking about the same situation Tab mentioned in his video. But if it's like, hey, that person called you fat or whatever, I, I had a situation like this recently, actually. It's like, hey, like you're a good person. And I just thought I should let you know, like, you know, when you left, they were talking shit about your weight and your skin and your hair. Like, it just triggers all around. I was like, oh, wait. And it makes me so angry and it gave me crippling anxiety where I couldn't breathe. And this is the, this is the night I, Shane actually FaceTimed me because I was so overwhelmed and I never come to him with drama or like problems. This was a situation yeah. where I'm just 
overwhelmed and it was it took him we FaceTime for hours and tears and it just and he kind of said the same thing he's like why did that person even tell you you know Jeffrey replied to more people who were calling him out for Tab's video and he responded by saying that no one actually cares about him as a human or his mental health. Now, a lot of people found this ironic because it's no secret that Jeffrey has participated in many very public takedowns of other influencers. James included. Speaking of Jeffrey Star, the other day, Jeffrey uploaded a long notepad apology to his Twitter addressing two photos that have been going around. Okay, I had enough of this. So apparently, Jeffrey Star was talking shit about Trisha behind her back, and now she all distraught about it. Like, are we surprised by any of this? These people are messy as fuck. These people on Instagram, YouTube, they are messy. And they all be linking up and trying to force themselves to be friends with each other just because they're in the same field. That is not a reason for you to be friends with somebody. That does not mean you're going to be compatible because you have the same job. That makes no sense. Like, if you sense somebody is, you know, kind of off and they seem like a fucked up person, their energy ain't too right, don't force yourself to be friends with them because they got millions of followers and you feel like, oh, we do the same thing. Let's hang out. No. I don't understand why Trisha would even be cool with him. Like, he's had so many falling outs with people and has exposed people. Look at the guy who was supposed to be his friend and he was talking shit about him like that. Some, oh, your man left you, he don't love you. And like, God damn, I thought we was cool at one point. And you treat me like this and talking to me like this? Like, that's wild. Um, but I mean, Trisha is always in some drama as well. So they kind of a fit for each other. I, I don't know. It's always a lot going on with these people. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought though. Let me know what other videos you want to react to and I'll see you on the next one.